Well, the extreme heat we saw over the summer, you probably remember, it's not letting up. That's right. And European scientists say last month was the hottest October ever recorded. It is the fifth straight month that the Earth's temperature set such a record. And experts say this is a sign 2023 will go down as the hottest year ever. Oof. Kim Cobb is a professor and director at Brown University's Institute at Brown for Environment and Society joins us now with a closer look at this. Professor Cobb, thank you for joining us. I mean, this recent heating trend, is it surprising at all? And the fact that October was more than three degrees warmer than the average? Well, it's not surprising that we're having year-on-year -year global temperature records at this point almost every year. But what is surprising about this year is just how high those new records are coming in at. Um, shocking even for those of us who have been watching this unfold for decades of our careers in climate science. Um, but what's important to remember is that, of course, this will not stop here. Uh, 2024 already on our radar as a potential uh, record-breaking year, as 2023 is, of course, a lock for the new warmest year on record, beating out 2020, which is just a recent record set. But what's important to remember is to go beyond those statistics that have become like a drumbeat. We're almost immune to them. And to think about the cost on the ground uh, to human lives, livelihoods, our economy, um, public health, and national security. And that's really uh, where we have to recognize that uh, we just can't become immune to the ongoing damages. And, and we do have to reach for any and all solutions to reduce emissions from fossil fuels and to accelerate our transition to a, a cleaner energy economy. Remind us some of the climate events that made this year so warm and also how many data points are looked at in order to establish a fact like the fact that we're discussing that there's a 93 percent chance that this is the hottest year on record. Yeah, so uh, instrumental records of temperatures go back oh, about 150 years. So we have a incredibly comprehensive uh, information to bring to bear on, on these statistics. And so when we hear that a given months with three degrees warmer than preceding records, uh, that's really something that's going to leap off a chart that is very long indeed and captures a large range of uh, past natural variability, which is now, of course, uh, being completely overwhelmed by uh, man-made climate change caused by fossil fuel emissions. And so earlier this year, uh, we had a relatively cool uh, Pacific Ocean temperatures related to a La Nina event moving through to right now where we stand in an El Nino event, a vast warming of the largest ocean on our planet, uh, which comes every few years, obviously playing a major role in the uptake to 2023 being as warm as it is. But of course, earlier this year, it was cooler. So that's really something to remember. Uh, 2024, of course, will continue continue El Nino conditions. We only have a few seconds left, Professor Cobb, but what does it mean if we just continue at this rate? Mm. Well, what we're seeing is, of course, escalating damages uh, with climate change causing upwards of $150 billion to our economy every single year. And these costs will continue as warming continues over the next decade or two. Critical few years here that we have to decide just how warm we're going to let it get over the next couple decades before we can turn to a pathway of global cooling later this century. Uh, we just simply must reach for all those levers to reduce fossil fuel emissions. All right. Professor Kim Cobb from Brown University, such an important conversation. Mm. Thank you for joining us this morning. Really appreciate is. it. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.